I think uh, we we do get a lot of visitors from from overseas, and and, and the general feeling is is that our national roads are, are some of the best in the world. So I think it definitely um, your your road infrastructure plays a key part in 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 how appealing a, com- a country is to to tourists. Um, so I definitely believe it plays a key role, and then of course. The better your roads are, uh, the better, the, the higher your safety is. Um, you know, when you've got roads with a lot of potholes and, and the guys need to continuously swerve out or they're hitting big potholes, yes, it, it, does, it does create a safety issue. Um, so and in, 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 in this sort of application in pure rehabilitation, uh, it really goes a long way to, to re- uh, rehabilitate a lot of the roads to make sure that, um, you know, they are safe to drive on. Um, and then, like I said, I mean, it really does uh, help to to get your uh, tourists to come out to to your country. Yeah. It's just the quality of your of your infrastructure. It all depends purely on on, on from a, an engineering perspective, um, and then what condition the road's in. Uh, so it would be determined if would the road need to be completely rehabilitated. Um, as such, it would mean that. Pretty much all the existing aggregates would be have to be excavated and then brought back. Uh, new material be brought back to to re um, build up your your layers. Um, but I think from that perspective is is that the guys would then spec the machine accordingly. Um, you know, if if you're going to be doing a full rehabilitation, um, yeah, then you probably would just excavate the products out. But if you only have one or two uh, of your top layers that are that are that needs to be replaced, then then. It becomes do you do you mill off the asphalt existing asphalt um, and and just repave it back in a in a in a mill and replace application or if you if you want to to rehabilitate one or two of the base layers and and then would use a, a machine like a, a WR two forty um, which would then mix uh, the existing asphalt into the existing base layer to create a new base um, and then you would come and pave a fresh asphalt layer on top of it. Um, so it just all depends on, on the road condition specifically, um, and then the machines would be specced accordingly to, to, to fulfill the project needs. Yeah. Uh, 2200 and 3800 CRs are, are cold recycling machines that, that um, are used to rehabilitate roads in situ. Uh, so what that means is um, it reuses everything that's existing on the road, so 100% of the existing uh, uh, aggregates are used and then it it, um, it actually mills up the material um, it in, the machine itself injects the, the foam bitumen um, and water uh, mixes the material back up again and then it actually has a, a paving screed uh, very similar to a, a Vogler paver that then actually paves the material back straight away um, you know it's very different compared to uh, normal re- rehabilitation projects where the guys will mill off the material, uh, drive it off-site and process it through a, a, a KMA or, a, um, or a, an asphalt plant and then bring it back to site and then pave it back in. So, so from that perspective, um, it's, it's very cost-effective because it's all happening um, immediately uh, on the road there. Uh, so from an environmentally friendly perspective is that you, you reuse uh, all the material that's there um, so there's no new and raw aggregates that are that are brought uh, to site um, and then also used um, in rehabilitating the road. Uh, so it gives you a nice uh, final uh, road that you can be, be that can be driven on um, immediately with using all of the existing material.